very happy this afternoon to be having you all here for the opening program of a chain of wisdom, Nagaland Art Residency and Exhibition 2022, organized by Tafma Government of Nagaland in collaboration with the Art for Change Foundation New Delhi, which started on the 1st of August and will be winding up on the 11th of August. Our Honorable Advisor, Sir Zalenika, the Honorable Advisor to the Department of Youth Resources and Sports, Government of Nagaland, the Honorable Advisor, Sir Medoyoka, the advisor to the government for uh, election and uh, technical education. Honorable advisor, Sir Tejameru, the advisor for task force for music and arts. Sir Wezope Kenye, IAS, the Secretary to the Government of Nagaland Youth Resource and Sports and Parliamentary Affairs. Ma'am Makamla Chuba, the Director for Youth Resources and Sports. Sir Mego the additional director for youth resources and sports sir isaac gilgan the executive director for art for change foundation new delhi and uh, his team all the artists present here this evening in the dais, esteemed friends of uh, the art and the art fraternity present here this evening, my dear students of uh, GRIO, the media fraternity present here this evening, and uh, ladies and gentlemen. Art is something which all of us are binded together for, and that's why we're here. As we gather here to enjoy the hard work, this uh, seven plus four people Residency in anticipation of the conversations that were to come. 
As we talked, our different practices started to overlap and meet at intersections of holding our memories, rites of passage, communal living, and how to strike a balance. Lipok titled this residency Morong, a systematic place to gather and find mentorship, a place to gain an education through oral instruction and demonstration, and a place to root yourself to your history. As artists, we are always trying to reclaim meaning. How much do we know about ourselves? Where we come from? How can we honor it? What can we take from it? What can we unlearn? Can we shift our perspective? What does it mean to have a discourse on cultural identity in a rapidly modernizing world? How can we coexist sustainably with nature? As artists, we have to ask and inve investigate these questions. Art for Change was founded with the conviction that art plays a profound uh, role in exploring questions of human dignity and the common good. We want to foster these questions and provide the tools for artists to search within ourselves, explore our environment, and shape our society. These past two weeks, we have foraged from the riches of Dahma, Jotsama, Kohima, Nagaland, and collected from its astronomical mountain of resources be it plant material, folk tales, ancestral heirlooms, textiles, our concerns and fears, our resilience. It has resulted in a beautiful accident of cross-cultural references woven together by the thematic collaboration of Jaita, Tony, Lipok, Sanjeev, Nayong, Imti, and Tatsi. Through this collective imagination, we hope to create dialogue that can be carried to the future by both Naga and non-Naga artists and nurture symbiotic opportunities for many young art practitioners and thinkers. Currently, we are working on realizing our goal of opening an art center in Missouri. Living atop the clouds at the foot of Kulebatsi, um, that dream has become more urgent in the quest to recreate that feeling in the Himalayas. In the distant future, we may have a version of this residency with Naga artists exploring another land, another history, another diaspora. As you walk around, I urge you to, find, to ask yourself, what links me to my past? What can I carry into the future? How can I preserve the intelligence of my ancestors and take responsibility of my present actions? How can I continue the chain of wisdom? Thank you.
about the uh, painting. The ancestors to the hills and, the, and mountains and the forest. <clears throat> I'm completely in awe with the biodiversity here in Zotsoma. Every day I get to see a unique species of insects and flora, and they're very inspiring in my artistic journey and understanding of life forms. Uh, these artworks are from my series called Growing Wild. Uh, Growing Wild is about going back to our roots, learning about ourselves, our ancestors, and our connection to the natural world. It is about healing and moving forward, carrying our in ancestors' indigenous wisdom and knowledge. The, the green hair color is the symbolism for the life force that is behind the wild growth we see all along here, um, the natural vegetation and also our personal growth. It has been a wonderful experience and I have learned so much du during this last seven days. Thank you so much and I hope to visit once again. Thank you. Can we come and occupy the front seats, please? I am as a sculptor, in, it's just one in Assam. So, I am working as a site specific work, different parts of Assam, and in, working in everywhere. In, Sometimes I visit in hills side and sometime I visit in Assam village, some different parts of um, riverside. So I'm interested to do something community engagement, like how to engage with community and doing something else, and how to create something people know to how, how to engage with one material to other material and connect it to each other. So, so I'm doing one materials because I, I'm staying in three four days and walking in Jotsama and some near places also. Uh, so I, I I don't get anything how I'm doing here with like this this exhibition. So I got one thing is traditional hand was basin your Naga tradition, I think. So how to introduce uh, as an outsider me to this bamboo? How to engage with that material? So can you see bamboo as a pedagogy through a non-human perspective? Can we see bamboo not just as a material? Bamboo become a collective material architecture. Bamboo become a collective material when it is built a community through architecture form. So how to know uh, if we doing some materials and after that how to extend in youth peoples, how to see as a bamboo library. Library means not only for book putting here, some books are there. As a, we are thinking as a library as a food as a note down, as a see something and doing something that's so I am interested to uh, in my work how to you are all of you engaged with these works how to see how to thoughts to put here in these works because so many multiple direction is there some drawing books, some notes, some quotes, you can see and after that you can take something dry food also. But don't be look as a artwork because I'm I'm not doing new one. I bought some one bamboo piece and I'm trying to extend something and introduce to all of you. Thank you so much and thank you Tatma and thank you Art for Sense to inviting me and good giving me some good opportunities. Thank you Nagar government. Thank you sir. Nayankum La Chan from Jansan. Uh, 
officials, media, and everybody present here today, and uh, the GRIO students who are here today. Uh, I, Nain on behalf of the artists here, would, walk, would like to welcome everyone, and I would like to share a few words regarding my experience here in this. So, as an architect, my work ranges from conceptual solutions to site-specific execution in the field of construction. Uh, my keen interest in the structure of natural formation and materials guided my project in the research and experimentation and turning it into ornaments. This residency has brought a lot of important questions into light regarding our relationship to our work, identity, and the medium of storytelling that, uh, that has always uh, that has always have had profound le lessons or realizations that our ancestors have used as compass to living life. The residency has also allowed me to explore artistic thinking and connecting to a deeper conscience, which in the past was not entertained due to giving preference to technical thinking. Getting to know the artists and working together in the studio also brought a sense of community of like-minded individuals collaborating and working together, helping one another, be it as simple as sending pine cones and sharing meals together every night. I hope you all enjoy the show. So taking advantage of the situation, I'd like to let you all uh, tell you something about Tafma. Tafma, under the leadership of our honorable advisor, we have a program called MIPRO, Musicians Incubation Program, where we groom our young artists to become stars. And uh, one of their requirements is they should memorize 100 songs and perform. Ajo is one of them. So, yeah. The next in line is our uh, address by our honorable guest of honor, Engineer mm -hmm. Zalenika. Tafma comes under YRS, Youth Resources and Sports Department. And uh, Engineer Zalenika, who is the Honorable Advisor of Youth Resources and Sports, is also our advisor. So now, sir, in spite of his uh, engagements, he could get time this evening to join us. I was called just like that, last night when we, by, by our Project, uh, project director. So, I would say about artists or art. Because we have only heard from the artist itself about the art. But I just want to say that under the visionary leadership, of our Honorable Chief Minister Sri Nikiru. This whole program is successfully happening. Our Honorable Chief Minister he has a vision to promote the youth of our Nagas. He promotes youth in many fields, even in Tafma music, in the art, then in sports, and in many other fields. So I really thank our Honorable Chief Minister for guiding us and promoting our youth in many ways. 
Et ça va, le président directeur est solide ici. Taffman, il se plante sur Wireless. Luc de Sous et Sports Department est un très vaste département. Nous avons beaucoup de branches. Taffman, NYTS, NCC, Wild Scouting Guides, so like that. And all these branches, all these units are doing well in your assignment. Just when I reach there and sit, sit at there, my colleagues, Mado and Tedafu, we were just sharing that the fire is running very fast. So even our advisor, the fire also saying that, yes, under the leadership of our honorable chief minister, and as I have told our Tafma advisor and DG that you go with your vision, you go with your program, and don't hesitate to take up any program because I will always stand with you. I told them that. So they are also doing well. And today, I thank our Tafma for organizing this. This type of exhibition, exchange of art, and also I thank our team of Art for Change Foundation New Delhi for coming to Nagaland and exchanging your talents with our Nagayans. I would like to suggest that Tafma, along with Art for Change Foundation New Delhi, I request you to organize more this type of program, even in the level of national level or abroad, even abroad also, so that you can share in of your thoughts with different people, you will learn more about your culture, your tradition. So I request both of the both teams to organize more events like this. I'll take that much time. Thank you all for giving me the time. Don't take time, waste time uh, in addressing the dignitaries on the dais and all the dais. But, uh, thank you for inviting me, especially Sir Zale, to be a part of this solemn occasion. I'll call it a solemn occasion. Yeah, I was just trying to get things connected and uh, see how actually the outside world that you see, there is one thing, and then as we go in and see the art exhibition, I, I am sure that definitely this something is to be exhibited inside. So I'm just trying to get connect all the things. Mm, as been rightly said by the Honorable Advisor, Sir Zaleh, uh, under the dynamic leadership of Honorable Chief Minister, lots of initiatives are on. We only need time and space and a little bit of patience to understand where we are and from where we are moving onwards. We like to appeal to all the persons of importance who are engaging the societies, who are engaging the people, and we like to impress upon the youngsters also to kindly of have more patience so that we place the future of the poor younger generation in the right perspective so that you can all become a man and woman of substance. Um, I'm just standing next temple. I thought I'll just go find my friend, but yeah, thank you for giving me this time. In fact, um, I think 
the one or two artists who have come up on the stage and have expressed uh, what they have experienced. I think we have so many things to break the way back home. If you can be the ambassador of a society, of who we are and how we are and how we are struggling, I think you can be the best bridge to connect the people. I think the people who have interacted and experienced, the few experiences that you the local people who have that ex shared experience with you all, I think there are also so many things which they want to have to take back and share with the communities here. Songs and art is a gift so rich if we can get it with the society connected, I think that is where we can do wonderful things for the society. I just want to wish you all the best and thank you for being uh, here with us and we hope and look forward that definitely as you go back at home, you will be giving back so many things and be a good ambassador for the Nagas society. God bless and congratulations and Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. By two beautiful ladies, they are part of the organizers and artists themselves. So we start with uh, Nasa, followed by Cynthia. Yeah. Thank you, Dave, for the opening of the exhibition. We've had so many people put in a lot of effort into making this happen today. And so we'd like to express our gratitude to each of them. Thank you to our guest of honor, Sri Zali Neka, for being here. Uh, Mr. Abu Mehta, advisor to the Chief Minister, who pushed for this project to happen from the very start. Uh, Mr. Teja Meru, advisor of DAFMA, who encouraged us and was active in selecting the artists and even supported this entire event. Dr. Hobi Pal Sotu, um, the project director of DAFMA, who has been in constant communication with us and has provided all the materials we needed to make this event successful. Um, Dr. Sedevi Anghami, who introduced me to Isaac about seven months ago, um, and Dr. Atom Ayer, who is the connection to Dr. Sedili and Isaac Ergen. Uh, we'd also like to thank Stefan Eicher and Joshua John from Art for Change Foundation. Um, they provided professional advice and support for this project. Um, we'd also like to thank Cynthia Kaloke for being so helpful with local matters, collecting materials, and for the amazing support to all of us. We'd also like to thank Alenia Sadir for advertising our event, um, through social media and various means. Um, and Nagla and Kofi, who were generous enough to provide gifts for our artists. Um, we'd also like to thank Dr. K. Kibitsu, also known as Nekla Mama, uh, who came in during the residency and engaged us all in a thought-provoking discussion on what is Naga art, or if there, isn't, if there is even a thing for Naga art. Uh, we'd also like to thank Mr. Melia for hosting us all at his guest house and for being so um, being so hospitable to all of us. Um, we'd also like to thank Noxa and Imprint for all of our framing and printing work, and DKFA for working with us to transition the artworks to the cafe after the 11th of August. There are seven amazing uh, artists, five Naga, Nagas and two non-local, so from Assam and Delhi. I really want to take time and thank each individual, starting from Ms. Jaita, Mr. Sangjeev, Mr. Lipok Manan, Ms. Nayun, Mr. Tony Sumi, Mr. Tatsi, Mr. Imti Kumba, and not forgetting Mr. Osato. My heartfelt gratitude goes to the organizing team, Art for Change uh, Foundation New Delhi, Mr. I Isaac Bergen, the wonderful executive director, Art for Change New Delhi, Ms. Tanya Garg, the beautiful project manager, Ms. Topchan Soni, the amazing facilitator, Ms. Mesa Nenyos Surho, the fabulous con uh, coordinator, Art for Change, and Cafe Dezel, especially Ms. Abi for the delicious cuisine, Mr. Mazi for driving us around. Uh, my friends, uh, Ma'am Chanda and uh, Mr. Teja Sikosi here. And last but not the least, uh, the carpenters who works magic on the canvas frames. Thank you.